here we have another calculation flashcard to do with finding the efficiency of a food processor motor. And here are some data. Now we need to put this data into a list to show what, we, what data we have. But before we start, let's do a little diagram so we can better understand what's going on here. And a diagram for energy efficiency is always going to be a sand key diagram. So let's just put that down here. The power rating of the food processor is 500 watts. And that means that we've got an input power of 500 watts. This is telling us that every second, 500 joules of energy are being transformed in the food processor. The electric motor transforms 350 watts to kinetic energy. So our Sankey diagram can see look a little bit like this. Oh dear, a bit of a strange Sankey diagram, but we've there we are, 350 watts of kinetic energy. And 150 make up the other bit, which is down here, 150 watts of heat and sound. And the question you need to answer before we start the calculation is, which one is the useful energy or the useful power? And it must be the kinetic energy because that's what's chopping up the vegetables. So that is useful. So now that we've done a little diagram here, and that's, you could say, is part of the do less diagram list equation solve state, let's do the calculation. So list. Let's list our data. The useful power out, or the useful power transformed, is 350 watts, 350 watts. The total power in is the 500 watts. And we're trying to find efficiency. So we put a question mark and it's percentage. Always try to make a list of data. It will make your calculations much easier. And now let's use the equation that efficiency, efficiency equals useful power out divided by total power in times by 100% to get as a percentage. Let's put the numbers in. Useful power out, 350. 350 watts. I'm not going to put the units in in the solve department. Total power in is 500 multiplied by 100%. And that's going to give us 70%. State the answer with the unit. Well, remember that efficiency does not have units. It's just a percentage or a fraction. So we're just left with the efficiency of this appliance equals 70%. That means that if you put 100 joules in, then 70 joules will come out as useful kinetic energy. Or you could think of it if you put in 100 joules per second, that's 100 watts then 70 joules per second will be useful power out.